So I hope you had fun working on these listing templates for drinks and news. Let's go ahead and code these together so you can see how I would do it and have a little bit of a different view into it and maybe find some issues that you might have ran into. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is go into my templates and I'm going to go to drinks, create a new template called index.twig. And that way when someone hits drinks and in the URL, just slash drinks, it'll automatically render index.twig. Now I know already that I need to extend underscore layout slash main. And I know that my block is main and end block. So I'm kind of getting used to this now. And then in here, I need to put my template specific content in that I'm going to inject into this main layout. Let's find that in the static templates. So we are going to go to drinks index, grab everything. Let's see here, after the nav, all the way down until right before the footer. Copy that, bring it over, drop it in, and verify it in the browser. So if I go here to slash drinks, there we are. That looks good. Now what I wanna do is I just want to update this table. That's the only thing I'm gonna make dynamic on this template right now. So it should be pretty contained. So going in, I see I got a table here. A table has rows, and so that means I'm gonna iterate at the row level. So I've got these rows that are all extras that I don't need, so I'm gonna grab those and delete them. And then surrounding the main row, that's not for the header, I'll just do for drink in craft.entries.section drinks dot all. I'm actually going to limit this. Let's say let's limit it to 25 and then end four. And now here I can update with my content code. So this would be drink because I'm referring to it here. Drink dot title. Oops, sorry. That'd be actually drink dot URL. And then this will be drink.title, drink.title. This is the date that it was added to the menu on. I don't have that yet, so I'll just leave that blank. And this is the styles. We haven't done styles, which we're gonna do with categories. So we'll come back to those. So let's take a look. If I reload, perfect. I got two drinks and I can click on them and get to the individual pages. And that's all we need for this version of this. We're going to come back and enhance it. And on your own, hopefully you added this date menu here or this date item. And we'll come back to the style as well. All right, so let's go back and look at the one for news. We don't have a template yet, but this is what it's going to look like. So this is going to be more of like a blog-like listing of news articles. So let's check that out. First thing first, I'm gonna go into news and create a new index template, index.twig. And we'll just do our extends underscore layout slash main. And then block is main and block. And now I'm ready to drop in my content and markup here. We'll get that out of our static template for news, which is right here. And again, we don't need any of that. We don't need the, uh, let's see, we start at the nav. That's good, that's good. We're gonna start at the breadcrumbs here and go down and grab everything here. A lot of that I'm gonna delete. Just wanna make sure I get everything, there we go. Grab it and drop it in here. Now let's verify in the browser that everything looks right. So we go from page not found to a rendering template. Looks good, let's bring this stuff to life with dynamic content. So we're gonna come back in here, and I know I only need one instance of an article block. So I will get rid of everything else. So this is a news item here. So we got that one. So we'll get rid of this, this, 
this, and this. Don't need those. What we do need to do is now iterate over it. So we'll say for item in craft.entries.section is news. And we'll limit it to 25 again, dot all. And then end four down here. And then I can delete everything in this because this is all just placeholder content. And for this, we're going to use item dot author. And for date, we haven't done dates yet. So this would be item dot should be post date. And we'll leave it like that and see how it looks. For this one is going to be the title or the headline, be item dot title, item dot URL for the anchor link. Now you might be wondering why I did item. It's just the keyword I chose to refer to each entry as it comes through the loop. It basically it loops over and it spits out an entry. I'm just referring to it with the name item. I try to use a name that is within context of the content. So for drinks, I use drink. For news, it's item. It could be article, whatever we want. All right, let's see how this looks. See if we have any errors or anything. So we'll reload. Okay, I got an internal server error. Let's see where that's at. I think it might be here on this post date. Let's do that. Let's reload. Yeah, it's that one. Okay. So I think I need to date format this. Maybe to month, day, year, or something like that. Let's reload. There we are. So that date was an object and I was trying to convert it to a string. So that didn't work, but we got new coffee coming soon. I'm just missing my content. That goes right actually after the byline. And this is going to be item dot, what did we call it? Let's see. Go into our section settings for news and we called it news body news body there we go and let's go back to our page reload and there it is now i only have one news item here but if i add another let me just grab the content go to entries news new entry and we'll say acquired by starbucks and then paste in the news content, save it. And let's take a look. We should have another one listed here. And there we go. And you can see it's a reverse chronological by default and we are all set. So we have our listing page. If I click on this, I can go to the full article entry or this one. So now we've created listing pages for both the drinks and the news. I hope that jibes with what you've done on your own. If not, you can rewatch the video and see where you can make some improvements.